Won by Ivica Putnik, 8-5. Let's see how it will turn out now here in nine ball. Here comes the break from Mr. Putnik. Got the corner ball, got the one ball, but no position on the two ball. He's blocked by the three and therefore he will play a push out. You need to make an offer to Tony Drago and Tony will have the option to go for this shot by himself or give it back to Mr. Ivica Putnik. He's checking out what kind of position he can get him. I would go for give him a bang, but not a straight in bang, something like bring the cue ball on the left side rail between the third diamond and the side pocket. Maybe a jump shot. Like we got Putnik, he's measuring out. Huh. He's giving him a long, long com option on the combination there. And here comes the tor tornado, Drago. And he goes for it. Makes it but no position on the two. Probably another safety. Here it is. He got a shot at the two, but I don't know if he wanna go for it or play another safety now. was going for it and it was very difficult and he made it but look at this he parked the cue ball frozen behind the nine that's very unlucky great shot on the two ball but, but how, how unfortunate he was here at the, with the position so here comes a two rail kick shot on the three ball he missed it barely. Gives ball in hand to Tony Drago, the tornado, who is well known for his very fast playing style. Faster, he's playing faster than any doubt before any doubt will come up in his mind. The ball is already in. In Liberch, Cheshire, in the European Championship. But let's see his break technique. Got the corner ball. Got the position on the one. And I'm pretty sure that he will take care of this one here pretty fast. Carefully, when he's going for the two ball, that he won't bring the three ball too much away from the pocket. Oh, look at this. So that he made a three and now maybe a kick on the two. Very good. A little bit out of position on the four ball. Safety maybe on the four. No, forget about the safety. This is the tornado. Bank or direct cut? A bank. And that's it. Very creative playing strategy, but surely fast.
such a crowd pleaser with his break. What kind of break will he show to us here? Made a break, uh, made a corner ball. And got a shot on the one ball. But it was a so-called dry break. It happened for the first time here on the main table. Because we have the EPBF rule to avoid to avoid uh, soft breaks that when you make one ball on the break, two balls has to cross the head string. If you make two balls, one ball has to cross the head string. And if you make three, nothing has to cross the head string. And that was the and if this won't happen then we call it a dry break and this happened to Ivica Putnik he made one ball on the break just one ball crosses the headstring and therefore it was the turn for Tony Drago who couldn't make much out of this situation here so let's here so we see Ivica Putnik back at the table, taking care of the two ball. Now he is in a quite good position for the three and if you have a look at the three and the nine, then he is also has a pretty good chance to make a carom on the nine. He made a three but missed a carom and now he is it's pretty safe behind the six and the nine. Need to pull out a jump shot here or a kick shot. He's going for the kick over the head rail. Legal hit. But he left the shot for Tony. Wow. To see how much power he was putting in this shot even though he's he was playing it in the side pocket so Tony Drago is a former snooker pro player and also in snooker he was playing pretty fast look at this and now he really ended at least two times they won with him. Last time even in his home country in Malta. Nice break but not well rewarded here. He need to play a push out on the two ball. And that's the offer he made to Mr. Putnik. Safety. Legal hit, but he leaves a shot for Ivica. And let's see if Ivica Putnik can take care of this game. catch up a little bit in the score here 3 0 behind winner of this match will play the winner of table 22. Oh, not a perfect position for Ivica Putnik, but let's see if he can if he can take care of this one.
No, he missed it. He missed the nine ball. But look at the position he left for Tony Drago. He's trying to play. Uh, <laughs> was trying to play into the uh, foot uh, foot cushion. Hey, he could get the corner ball, but look at the cue ball. It's down there near the foot cushion, and no shot at the one available. Another push out, or will he go for the kick? No, he's going to push. Ooh. I would give this back to him. Yes, Tony did the same. And he couldn't create something big out of it. Here comes Tony. can see maybe not n not enough from the two ball to make it and therefore he played a safety but he leave the dead in combination on the three ball two three ball so easy victim for Ivica Putnik opportunity now for Mr. Putnik to to reduce the gap here in this score a little bit more. He's playing also pretty fast. This nine ball. Great shot here from Tony. told me lately that he normally don't like to play at the main tables in the center area just because there's normally a lot of heat going on because of those all those spots here they create a lot of heat and he don't like that too much on the other side we have Ralph Suk Oops, we got Ralph Sukir who Here you see the breaking technique from Ivika Putnik. A lot of times he forced the cue ball to into the foot rail area. But he has a he has a shot at the one ball, not an easy one, but 
pretty okay. I would guess that he will get this one. Let's see. Barely. But he was getting it. Position on the two, great. So we got three ball, five ball, six ball. This looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that he will take care of this one. How is the score, by the way, on the table 22? Huh? They will play the winner of this match, will play the winner of table 22. And there it is. Andreas Rushkowski is leading 4 0 over Albin Usha. No, 4 1 only now. But I see Andreas Rashkovsky is now on the table, taking on the two. And Andreas is the new ringing European champion in eight ball. He just won his the final match yesterday evening, eight seven. Again in a great game against Tony Drago in eight ball. Pretty unfortunate, you see, cue ball in the center of the table, but is blocked by the five ball. So we will see. He's looking for another push out option here. That's what he's offering to Ivica, and out of this, he will make only a Create a safety or is he going for the bank? No. Yes, the safety. Pretty good from Ivica Putnik. I met Ivica Putnik, I guess, firstly in 2000 or before. Nice answer from Tony Drago, but I guess Ivica now has a shot at the one ball. At least I, the last match I played him was nine years ago. Very nice shot from Vika Putnik. He shows us that he is surely here not to lose. He's trying to keep up with Tony Drago, not only in accuracy, but also in accordance to his playing speed. Very nice shot making here from Ivica Putnik. Very great position play as well. How about a two rail follow shot here? One rail is enough for Ivica Putnik from Croatia. This applause just for the break. Ivica takes his time like usual. Wow. This time he, he was sending the cue ball into the head area. He got a shot at the one ball. Two ball is available. After that, will the three, five, uh, excuse me, four, five. Everything is quite accessible. So 
I really like Tanoif. Mika Putnik now takes this opportunity to catch the lead for the first time in this match. Here in the back from Mr. Tony Draghi you see David Morris, one of the tournament leaders here, vice president of the EPBF. As well, talking to Tony again. I don't know what's going on there, why they... What they try to tell to Tony. But look at the nice play here from the 36-year-old player from Croatia. He takes the lead here. Great cue ball control from Tony. I guess the one ball can pass the five. That's very important for Tony here. I really like to see this great cue action here from Tony. In, uh, in pool teaching classes, they always offer you kind of multiple step program. I like the style from Tony, it's just one step, shoot. <laughs> no shot at the one ball, another push. Question mark. You can see a little bit from the one ball, but you can see only this part of the one, which will send the cue ball into the corner pocket. But he's going for a two rail kick, huh? Nice safe opportunity. Very nice. Tony can see a part of the one. Ivica can see the complete part of the one, but no pocket available, at least completely. And therefore he played a try to safety, but failed to do so. Can the one ball pass the seven, or does he play the combination? No, one ball can pass. Yeah. Now it looks quite good. Two ball, three ball, four ball in the side, five ball in the corner, six in the corner, seven in the corner, and a nine. This looks like a six five lead for Tony Drago. Normally you make step one, checking the perspectives, step two, building your picture, step three, going into your stance. Great game. The corner ball, look again, 
I really like his cue ball control here. At least three times he was right in the center of the table. Nobody else could show us this kind of cue ball control on the break so far on this table. Can he have a shot at the two? Or is it a safety? It's a safety. He could have hold the cue ball a little bit closer to the six because the this distance Vika Putnik will probably pull out his jump cue to take care of this. No. He's going for a kick on the foot rail. How surprising. Very good. But look at this, Tony is giving him back almost the same situation. But just almost. I guess it's still a kick available. Curve, kick. Now he's taking his time, of course. This is not an easy situation for Ivica Putnik and we are in the second round of this European Championship. Nice shot from Ivica Putnik. Keeps the score tight. Let's check out the score. It's still it's four three distance. The gap is melting away. And then there's Roszkowski. Very nice break here from the 12 times national champion from Croatia. Nice position on the two. So nice here on the three ball. He's in trouble now. I bet he will try to park the cue ball behind the five and the six or keep at least those two balls between the cue ball and the three. But he failed to do so. Tony got a shot at the three.
It's time to get out of talking to each other. Part of the psychological strategy here. Very nice, very nice from Tony Drago. Tell you what, if something bothers him, it certainly doesn't hurt his game. I believe even more that it will help his game. So if you have to play him, you should do a good advice to keep him happy. He scratched on the brake and smashed and smashed his cue. Ball in hand for Tony Drago. Will he take care of this game? Take advantage out of the mistake from Ivica Putnik? And close the match. Mm. I guess he's in trouble now. He's playing a carom on the six. Oh. The position will be hard. The six is okay. Okay. Okay, here Tony Drago closes the match. Nine six, Tony Drago wins.